All right, friends, I think I have a real treat in store for you here. You're going to get a sense of really what Photoshop can do, just how powerful this amazing program is. Yes, you can correct photographs. You can make them more colorful. You can correct their colors so they look more like the real life you thought you shot. You can make images less colorful. You can bleed the color out and make black and white images. You can sharpen the detail. You can paint from scratch if you want to. You can add painted elements to a photographic image. You can add special effects. Or you can completely transform an image which is what we're going to be doing inside of this chapter. The thing about Photoshop is it is nothing if not fantastically capable. Yes, it's hard to use, and it can be quite intimidating at times. But once that light bulb starts going off, this program opens wide up for you, and there just is nothing you can't do where editing a 2D photographic image is concerned. Now, I've got some files ready for you here if you have access to the Exercise Files folder. And you will find this image called BaseBuildFile.psd. It features an image from Jason Stitt of the Fotolia Image Library. And these guys have been so generous to us and provided us with so many images. I ought to tell you just a very short thing about them. Fotolia is a stock image vendor. And anybody can upload images to the Fotolia website. It's a juried site, so they pick and choose which ones to keep. And then anyone can download from that image library, and you pay a very modest fee for the privilege. And if you want to learn more about them, you can go to fotolia.com slash deke. Anyway, we're going to take this girl right here, and we're going to transform her into this file right here, finalnavigirl.psd. And this is essentially a Navi, like those from the movie Avatar, which you may be familiar with. It was somewhat popular, you might recall. And I want to show you how this image was assembled. But the first thing I'm going to say is over the course of this chapter, you can watch me work if you want to. You can just sit back and relax and watch. Or you can try to work along with me. I have set these sample files up so that you can work along with me if you want to. If you're feeling ambitious or you want to challenge or that's just how you learn. You feel like you learn better if you're doing while you're watching. Now, the thing there is I'm not going to have time to explain every single feature to you. That's what the rest of the series is for. I'm going to be covering a ton of territory in this one chapter. However, I've given you everything you need in order to get the job done. Let me walk you through this file here. I'm looking at the Layers panel. And notice there's this background layer right there, which is the original Jason Stitt image. I want you to Alt-click or Option-click, if you're working along with me, on the eyeball in front of that background layer so that we turn all the other layers off. By virtue of the fact we had the Alt or Option key down, we didn't turn off this layer. We turned off all the other layers. And I want you to see, everything is founded on this image. It isn't like I just went and painted a Navi from scratch or something like that. It's actually a transformed version of this photograph. And then what I did was I liquefied her eyes. There's this filter inside Photoshop called Liquify that allows you to paint in distortions. And that's what I did here. And then these Navi people, they have big brows and very wide noses. And that bridge of the nose actually needs to cover up part of this right-hand eye, her left eye. So I added this layer right here, brow and nose. And then I went ahead and painted everything blue. So her skin, that is, is blue. Her hair remains brown. And now at this point, she's looking great. The skin looks awesome, but her eyes look totally wrong. So I've got these eyes layer. I'll go ahead and turn them on, and you can see now we have these glowing irises. We've got these pupils. I'm retaining the highlights from the original image. So I actually lifted these highlights from the original irises. And then I went ahead and added some war paint, which is the whole reason I wanted to do this in the first place. I'm just really crazy about war paint right now. And then I figured I'd like to integrate her better with her background. So I added these blurry leaves up front. And that way she appears to be in a kind of jungle environment. And then finally I added this glowing dragonfly layer that's over here on the right-hand side of the image. And that's it, folks. Those are the layers at work because we have some of the layers grouped together. In all, we've got more than 20 layers. I'm going to show you how they were all put together. You can sit back and watch me. You can try to work with me. It's totally up to you. However you decide to do it, let's get started.